Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. And uh, just wanted to do a, another book review. And for this book review, it's going to be Thunderball. This may be, oh, maybe the fastest book review I could I could probably ever do. I forgot to look up when did when was Thunderball published versus when did they start making James Bond movies? The reason why I feel like this is an important question is because in reading Thunderball it is like watching the movie. So I, I know on some book reviews I've said, oh, this was really close to the book. This one was as close to the book as, as uh, any of the movies I've seen. Some of the, this is almost identical. Thunderball is so close to the book. Um, I was shocked. Um, you could almost visualize this entire book as you're going through it, the characters the the underwater scenes the the hijacking of the plane to get the nukes the uh, so uh, number one and number two for for specter um all of these things all these different aspects um when the when they have the big table and they uh they were going to um Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Blackmail. They were uh, blackmail or ransom money. That's right. They had ransom money that they were going to get um, from someone. And then uh, one of the one of the bad guys, wound, you know, he was pilfering some of the money that they should have gotten, or or they didn't follow something exactly. So, so that meeting that they had, um, you know, a lot like a lot like the movie. Um, the relationship of Domino and her brother, a lot, just like the movie. Uh, so uh, the the boat, the bombs being taken onto the boat, um, transporting the bombs underwater, uh, the plane landing on water, looking for the landing site with the landing lights that were placed underwater. So all these different things just like the movie it was it was uh, actually fantastic um, the but because you know the story so well from if you've watched the movie and then you go to read the book all the other books there's been quite a lot of differences some nuances that that make going through the book uh, a, a treat because it's like, oh, this was different. This was this was different. Oh, I, you know, this character was a much bigger character than it, than they were in the movie. Um, no, I mean, this really no surprises, no big changes uh, to this one. So, um, yeah, if you go into Thunderball to to read the book, knowing the movie, uh, no no real big surprises that you're gonna uh, gonna have here. It's still enjoyable. I mean, Thunderball is one of my favorite Bond movies. I, I, I always have loved it a lot um, because I like underwater Bond. Um, when when he's scuba diving and, and or anything underwater, I, I enjoy those parts of the missions. So the only difference, so I'm trying to think what what might be a standout difference here the the only real difference that i could think of when it came to thunderball book versus the movie was domino herself um she is she's portrayed very well in the movie but you kind of don't you kind of just don't get how strong she is um She's actually quite emotionally strong. She suffers a lot. Um, I will say, they downplay the torture she goes through in the movie at the end. 
um, when 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 he's just like, oh, there's no one here to save you. No one will hear you scream and things. Um, she gets burned pretty bad. She gets burned up pretty bad in the book. And so she really suffers. But Felix, uh, Felix Leiter, he's he's in, in, in the book, just like in the movie. They go in the helicopter. They find the landing site. They find the abandoned plane. They shoot the shark to keep the other sharks distracted while Bond dives down and discovers the plane. Very, very much, you know, book, movie, I mean, a lot of the dialect is the same. That's why I asked the question. Because as I'm going through the book, I'm thinking, this, this, he wrote this. It sounds as if he wrote this with a movie in mind. Because sometimes you can tell someone's writing a book to write a book. But sometimes you're, when you're reading a book, it almost sounds like they wrote this as if they were making a movie. So Thunderball is written like it's going to be and, and is in, you know, line to be a movie. That's, that's how it reads. Anyway, Domino suffers greatly in the end. She's in bad shape. Uh, the movie ends a little bit differently. Um... And in fact, it, it, it's kind of a very nice, tender uh, ending. And um, but Bond is right on, right on point with this one. Uh, Bond was more like the movie Bond in Thunderball than in previous books. Previous books, he seems to read slightly a little bit of a different, darker character than. Than, than in the movies, but in Thunderball, he's written a, almost almost just like you would see Bond in a movie. So, yeah, I'm wondering if this was written as Bond movies were being made. I, I don't know. I'm going to have to look at the dates. Um, I'm Maybe once I look it up, I'll throw a little text up on this, this video, and uh, we'll see. But anyway... Uh, Thunderball, it's, a, it's a, I mean, it's a good book. It's another good Ian Fleming book. Uh, but if you ever wind up being like, oh, you know, I never got around to reading that book. If you've watched the movie, it's so close. It's very close. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this book review. And uh, next month will be the next Ian Fleming book. We'll do a book review of that one, too. All right, till then, well, thanks for watching. We'll see you later. Bye.